Anna Paola has been fighting for justice for more than five years, since her 19-year-old son, Jonathan, was killed in a police raid. That was the worst day of my life. I would never imagine, even in my worst nightmares, losing a son. I didn't believe it was happening. I thought I was dying with him. Jonathan was just one of the thousands of mostly poor young black men killed by Rio police in recent years, more than 1,500 in 2018. The number of killings has increased since President Bolsonaro took office this year. The reason given is always that the victim fired first. Jonathan was not armed. This is what I demand. It doesn't matter if I am black, poor, or if I live in a poor neighborhood. I am a citizen. I pay my taxes like anyone else. So I demand the state gives me an answer for this murder. And the answer is justice. I will accept nothing else. Anna Paola knows the name of her son's killer. He was found to have killed three times previously. He's been assigned administrative duties, still in possession of his police gun and badge. Although the statistics are shocking, they only hint at the full scale of the suffering, the daily violence that engenders grief and fear, hidden away out of sight in favelas or shanty towns such as this one. <laughs> Campaigners say sending the police into the favelas with guns blazing has been proven to only increase crime, but shows of force by the president, an ex-military man, are part of the ideology that got him elected. A few poor neighborhoods register around 80 homicides per 100,000 residents. Rates from war countries. It seems like in the same city we have two different countries. One rich, developed and calmed, the other one in constant war. Bolsonaro has an ally in the Rio state governor, Wilson Witzel, who has suggested using missiles to blow up criminals. A task force set up to investigate questionable police killings is underfunded and understaffed. No Rio police officer has yet been convicted and jailed. Ana Paula has been awarded for her work with the mothers of other victims of police operations. I have spent the last five years fighting for my son's memory. Five years asking God for health so I can stay strong and keep going. Hoping that justice for Jonathan's death will bring some relief for her and thousands of other bereaved Brazilian mothers. Daniel Schweiner, Al Jazeera, Rio de Janeiro.